So I had a good day at the range today. Uh, brought out the CZ and 560 rounds with four magazines and everything went well. It's a nice day. So this thing is the, in case you haven't heard, this is the new Glock killer and the M&P killer and the SIG P320 and Walther killer. Um, this is the latest greatest thing on planet Earth and it also is a game changer. So that is if you bl believe and listen to a lot of the internet experts or in any kind of gun media. So today I'm going to give you or attempt to give you my best interpretation of how I see this gun and where it, where it, where it fits. Uh, my honest opinion of it. So as you guys may or may not know this gun was not intended for me. It's one my girlfriend picked out and I think she's going to be happy. She couldn't go shooting today. We are going to go back out to the range tomorrow and bring 300 more rounds. So by the tomorrow afternoon this gun will have 860 rounds through it. So she had to work today so I got the pleasure of running, running it all day. So <clears throat> aside from all the hoopla and all the mass hysteria surrounding the CZ pistol, one thing that I thought was kind of funny and corny and maybe a little cliche was their slogan, you know, improving on perfection. I believe that was CZ's slogan. And I thought, okay, that's funny. You know, lots of people like to take jabs at the King, which is Glock, even though they're not my favorite pistol. They've pretty much cemented themselves in, I guess, the world of fighting pistols. So at first I thought that was kind of funny. It's just like a, you know, kind of a funny marketing ploy. But when I got the gun and I got to run it today and shoot it over and over, kind of inspect it, when I took it apart to clean it and re-lube it, as funny and cliche as it sounds, I kind of understand what they mean. Um, see, they've had the luxury, as pretty much all pistol makers have had the luxury, of kind of following in the footsteps, at least since the, what, early mid-80s when the Glock 17 was first introduced. They've had the luxury of coming in and being given like a template, given like they can kind of copy off of the groundwork. So when CZ says improving upon perfection or improving on perfection, it kind of actually makes sense what they say regardless of how, you know, kind of a corny catch line or slogan that it may or may not be. And I can't kind of think um, what they meant by that was partially that they'd listened to their customers and they listened to the market, and they took a lot of the things that Glock, I guess features of the Glock, and they did their best to improve upon them, at least their opinion of it. Like, for example, um, we'll start at the top, I guess, with the sights. Now, for me, my eyes kind of suck, and I guess according to some friends, they say that CZ has a notor is pretty notorious about making kind of small sights. But you know what? At least they're steel. Um, these ones have the phosphorescent, phosphorescent uh, dots on them, even though I blacked out the rear. So right there, they, and at least in my opinion, and I think a lot of other people's opinion, they, uh, they, got, a, they got a leg up on Glock. Um, as far as the serrations, um, they don't seem to really bother me, but a lot of people tend to not be so happy with Glock serrations. They think they're kind of shallow, not very sharp. Well, again... The CZ took care of that, even the front ones, which I never really used, but the rear ones, very sharp. Let's try to get you like a top-down view. I don't know if you guys would be able to see the contrast, but relatively deep, uh, pretty aggressive, easy to get a grip on. Another thing was um, some guys, I guess in cold weather states, had issues when they were wearing gloves during the winter carrying their Glocks because I guess some people felt that it kind of had a small trigger jar, small trigger guard. Well, this one's a little bit bigger. I don't know how much of a big deal or a factor that really is. Um, so we'll move on to the the frame, the pistol, or the grip actually. Uh, I don't, if it wasn't for Glock pistols, I don't think there would be any kind of stippling aftermarket service. I don't even think it would exist. At least not to the extent that it does. So, once again, I think uh, CZ answered the bell and tried to approve upon perfection. This grip is awesome. I thought, I'll grab my uh, carry gun as a comparison here. Um, everyone knows how much I love the uh, RTF2 on the 3rd Gen Glocks. 
And mine, I guess over time, it's probably kind of smoothed, smoothed out and rounded over just from carrying it and shooting it for so long. But at least a, this brand new, this particular brand new P10 compared to my, I guess it's what, two-year-old RTF2 Glock, this is more aggressive. So I guess that's something that uh, some people will like, maybe others won't. What else? Oh, yeah, of course, the last thing. The thing that everyone loves to uh, squirt their pants over is, of course, the trigger. Now, to me, I guess it's nice having a, uh, a shorter, lighter, crisper, whatever. I, I, don't really I don't really understand all the lingo. Um, better trigger. So, you know, as long as it isn't like 50 pounds, I'm okay with it. But to be objective... This trigger is quite nice. And that's it. There's your wall. More than that, I guess, that really impresses me, and I'm not easily impressed with triggers, is the short reset. That's it. Really kicks your finger out there. But anyway, I don't want to focus too much on uh, triggers because I don't really care that much about it. The Glock, tr the Glock trigger is okay to me. Even though I put an aftermarket one in there, that was more kind of just for fun. But, alright, so, yeah, I guess um, I found that it was relatively easy to shoot, to be accurate with. I wasn't having too much trouble. I kind of, it took me a little bit to get used to, and honestly, I was having a little bit of trouble finding my uh, front sight. I'm just used to big dots and HDs and pro I dots, and so this thing to me was really small. But, you know, I got used to it. So that's kind of my impressions. Um, did a little bit of shooting footage so you can kind of see the gun in action. One thing I'll tell you, this gun really likes to uh, spit out the brass. It was launching them like, I don't know, three or four miles. I was having a hard time finding them, but um, took a little bit out, took it a little bit out to distance. It did pretty well, or I guess I did, I did okay with it, but so yeah, so I guess my honest, my honest opinion would be, I think it's a good gun. I don't think for one minute it's going to be a Glock killer or an M&P or a SIG or an HK or anything killer. I just think it's another good um, competitive option if you're in on the lookout for a striker fired pistol. Because kind of in my mind, even though I love my Glock and, and if this gun were mine, I wouldn't necessarily stop carrying my Glock just to carry this one. Um, I do kind of look at it as a Glock Plus, but I think a lot of pistols could be looked at that way because they've had the advantage of um, having a template laid out before them. So all they have to do, all these companies have to do is go back behind and find out what people like and don't like and then try to conform their gun to those preferences. So throwing a little bit of shooting footage and that's it guys. So that's kind of what I think. Um, take it easy. All right, so those first shots were just uh, from 10 yards, just doing a little bit of speed shooting. So we'll move it back to 25, and we'll keep going. All right, so now we moved it back to 50, so we'll give it a shot. All right, so now we'll go back to uh, 75. All right, so this is where you're going to see me epically fail. Uh, I have kind of a hard time <laughs> seeing the sight even at 75, or not the sight, the target at 75. And actually, speaking of the sight, um, they're not too bad. I do like them. They are kind of small, though. That front sight is kind of small, so that might be better for people who want to make more precise shots. But for me, I have a hard time seeing it, so... Now that I've unloaded all my excuses, uh, we'll give it a whirl. All right, here we go.
All right, last shot because you can't end it on this. All right, seven years bad luck. So that's it, guys. That's 75 yards. I only got two hits, so need to work on it.